another one leaned in and said, I got two words for you guys. Not guilty. Ha, 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 ha. Unacceptable. So we have a situation where the justice system is a farce. And we as citizens, I look at, I turn around and I look hey, right. at a cop. I don't know what's going to happen. And being in jail with the other protesters, I got to hear a lot of stories of what they experienced. And when I got out, I looked at the videos that were online. One, by the way, has 180,000 views where police undercovers after the dispersal order was given. Protesters went to Kelly's Corner and all over the city and undercover cars were driving around the city and jumping out and snatching protesters and charging them with uh, failure to disperse even though they were long away from the police department as I was. So his comments of not guilty, ha ha ha, is just a sick twist of it all. And what do you do? These guys beat him to death and punctured his eye under camera. We had a limp dick prosecutor that did the weakest case you could imagine. That's right. Didn't call one eyewitness, didn't call other videos. Even the jury foreman was an intern in 2011 for Rakakas. The jury foreman, out of the thousands of people that they could have chose for jury, he was an intern. So just think about these things. Absolutely do not hire these guys back. And uh, thanks for your time. Oh, please, you must address the council. I don't have anything to say to the people behind me. Because this, uh, is, turn is, off a, the mic, this is an illegitimate system behind me. These police are as corrupt as the people. Uh, I'm sorry, you must I'm address sorry, the sir, council. I will not reaffirm your power. You are letting pe you are letting the police officers kill people on the street. We're listening. So what I do have to say is that a number of people here uh, says that they are asking the police to change. This uh, is not excuse me, change. please. This is this, not. Uh, this is a police we have state. a democracy, and we no, try to respect right, people. But I don't need to talk to you. It's well, then please talk to these other people to outside the chambers. And police there are others who and delegitimize the police that are killing people on the street. Go outside, please. So the cops moving forward. Okay. But no. Uh, every the council will take a ten-minute break. The, the cops are moving Kamala forward. Ray died in New York. Tweet it out. The cops are moving in, I will say. I am addressing the That's public. Right. What is wrong with addressing the public? Give her a I'm listening. 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 i am you all have ten through the these speech. ID devices. Support your own community. They will not have jobs if we stop calling That's them. Right. Because they're going to keep killing people and they're going to get away with it. Why? Because it's a police state. The police state protects itself. <laughs> Oh, he wanted to. You saw it. Where'd it go? I can't see him. Is there a water bottle in the right foot? Did you see him? Did you see uh, Officer, what's his name right there? He wanted to arrest her. So you wanted to arrest her. I know. I saw you. You wanted to arrest her. Well, she might be getting arrested outside. Not you right. don't know that she hasn't been. <laughs> well, it could be happening right outside those doors. For free know. speech? Like, really? Oh, so oh, they don't know. You don't, you know, they don't you know, don't know, know what They arrest her. They don't know who they're fucking with. Sorry, you guys. The council went out uh, because they can't handle free speech. Oh. <laughs> um, the council is gone. I don't know. Um, so you guys, if you can tweet out, please, that the city council still left the cha chamber when uh, powerful free speech was being yeah. spoken. No, it's not over. Don't leave. Like, why are people leaving? It's not over. That's just custom. Really? Okay, so maybe y'all...
but maybe I'll break too. Like, can I can I come out? They're coming back out, dear. They're telling me that they're gonna take a long time when they take. No, they're not. They're like three minutes. It's only gonna be ten minutes. All right, well, just we'll let me walk ahead. around and breathe. Right. Yeah. Just make sure I can text George. I'm I'm staying in here. I'm here. I just want to like breathe. Is it standard procedure to arrest people for free speech? Officer DiCapio? That was brilliant. <laughs> Managed to meet myself, that's hilarious. Yeah, well, I'm going to speak um, shortly. I'm um, number, I don't know, like I'm within like four or five more people. I'm in the next batch that's going to stand up over by the wall here. Um, so I'm thinking about uh, what to say. I think I'm going to talk about uh, journalism and what journalism actually really is. And I'm going to talk about the provocateur mainstream media and what they did to the real journalist. And then I'm going to talk about the difference between property damage and violence. Um, and, and I'll address the council. I'm, I have a trial coming up, so I, I'm not going to get radical in here. But uh, that was fucking brilliant. That was fucking brilliant. What is it? No, um, yeah, I'll take one. Thanks. Awesome. So, um, this, can, can, do you want to tell the people watching what you're passing out? Because I'm doing a live broadcast. There's people watching. Do you want to tell them what, what you're passing out? Um, right now, I'm doing it what the third presenter passed out. And it's basically civilian oversight of law enforcement. Mm -hmm. so right awesome. Here. So that's kind of what I do. I film yeah. the cops. And uh, that made that cop feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm totally missing chat right now because I got so excited when uh, Lisa spoke. And I was just like, no, no, don't, don't arrest my right again. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a live broadcast. Do you want to like say anything to the? Okay. I feel uncomfortable. Stand up behind me. Speak now. I don't like. I'm not that. Um. No, I can't get radical in here right now with the a trial coming up in this city. So, I'll, I'm going to behave a little bit because um, I'm sure like any legal counsel that I have right now would tell me do not speak at city council. So, but I'm going I'm to do it anyway. A rogue, a rogue speaker, she's so badass. Am I okay? I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Totally. Totally awesome. You're still clapping. I'm so like I'm like I'm so I'm I haven't calmed down. I'm so excited. That was so fucking brilliant, really beautiful. And I want to be just like Alyssa when I grow up. So um, the council, the city council came back inside. Um,
Um, my charge was uh, 409, failure to disperse. Um, my crime was uh, freedom of the press. So if you guys uh, use hashtag free the press, that's my my hashtag right now is free the press. So yeah. So I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna talk about uh, what what real journal. I'm gonna talk about what real journalism is, and then I'm gonna talk about. If I go out there, let me. Yeah. Uh, mainstream uh, media assaulting real journalists, and the third topic was the difference—the difference between property damage and violence. That's it. I'm going to talk about what a real journalist is, mainstream media assault on real journalism, like physical assaults. There were three that day, and uh, the difference between property damage and violence. <laughs> I, I think you can, but uh, if the council would allow that, and then uh, we'll move so on. So does he to film her? Wow. Oh, I have to go. Are, did they call the next five? I just have a question for you about two Oh, okay. Oh, they're finishing that group. No, uh, you, you explained to me briefly before the meeting, but you know English well, criminal law. Is it's common law, back. which is what the United States Constitution is based on. Y'all, no, the press isn't back. We are innocent until proven guilty. The Napoleonic Code, which is what Mexico and... Tell George to come back. I'm going to speak. That is your guilty until proven innocent. And four more speakers. We are going to have we're going to have lawsuits and judges and court cases that nobody's going to be happy with. And that's the downside of of English common law. You can have Napoleonic code, but I have literally watched people pulled off the streets in Mexico. Another place in this world is an airline pilot. I watched people pull off the streets for no reason whatsoever, away from their families, away from their homes, away from everything, for at, basically because they had angered the wrong politician, angered the wrong policeman, whatever. And they had no alternative but to sit there and try to defend themselves to be found that they are not guilty. They are guilty until proven innocent. Can you imagine what sort of a situation that is? Our law is based upon the fact that they'd rather see a hundred people that are guilty go free than one innocent person end up in jail. And we see that often, unfortunately, people that are innocent, even in this country. We hear about it all the time with the new DNA evidence. People end up in jail, and they didn't. They're talking about a kid that was 14 years Where's old. Everybody? Right now, it, he was the youngest child, ever, youngest person ever put to death in 1944 for two murders that he wasn't anywhere near. The trial lasted for less than a day. The actual trial itself lasted for three hours. And a few weeks later, he was dead, executed by electric He was so small that the bands that held him in place would not even hold him. They had to come up with expedients to hold him in place. 14 years old. Wow. Our law system is not, I'm sorry. Our yeah, law I system, you can wrap up. No our pressure. law system is not perfect. It can't be perfect. Democracy is not perfect. But you know something? It's a hundred times better than anything else we've found so far. And if you don't believe it, look at the person over in uh, North Korea right now, and I can't remember his name right now, who's been in jail because they're basically under Napoleonic Code. He's guilty until proven innocent. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your thoughtful comments. I'm looking for speakers 17, 17 through 20, in case you were back in the room when they That's me, Al. Big thing Kelly wasn't over there. So I guess I'm next. Hi, uh, my name is Valerie. I'm a resident in Point Park. And I just wanted to say that uh, right now, with those officers on the force, I don't feel safe. Not at all. I used to ride my bike all the time over here, and now I just can't. 
I can't look at a cop and just be like, oh, he's going to be for me. It's hard to. And I don't think this meeting is really necessary. Why do we have to have a whole community come together to tell you that putting these men back on the workforce is wrong? They don't deserve the honor to serve in any public domain. Kelly Thomas is being attacked day after day, every minute we let these officers walk free. We're all watching it happen. Some of us are trying to make it stop. Whose side are you guys on? Thank you. Hi, y'all. I'm up. Hi, my name is Patty Beers. I'm a journalist. Woo! I'm a real journalist. I'm not the kind of journalist who go out for a break and don't come back. Oh, please address the council. I'm going to address everyone here, okay? Because everyone here needs to hear what I have to say. But you can if you address the council. It is on a speaker system. You know what? The whole entire council can hear me no matter what way my head is turned. It doesn't matter. You can hear me. I can speak loud and clear. Yeah. I'm a journalist. On Saturday, I came. There are five other, at least five other journalists, and I mean real journalists, people who come and they film unedited where the world can sit and watch live while it's happening. Five of us, at least, maybe more people that I don't know of, are doing live broadcasts on Saturday. Sorry, guys, my hands are shaking. I'm really excited. I saw... And the world, thousands of people around the world saw watching on their computers and their smartphones. They saw Fullerton police on Saturday targeting real journalists who are telling the truth. Not the kind of journalists who stand in the back of the room with their really big cameras and call the cops and say from their offices, hey, what happened? And expect the cops are going to tell them the truth because we all know. Everybody in this room knows that they lie. Yeah. Yeah. The only way to know the truth is to see it with your eyes. The, the truth that you see with your eyes is the only truth that you can see. And on Saturday, January 18, 2014, Fullerton Police Department targeted real journalists, real people doing real live streams. I was in jail. I went to jail. I was in the paddy wagon with Adam. Adam, the guy in the nice white shirt who told you that we were threatened that there would be 12 sheriffs waiting for us. I don't remember the exact words, but it was something, something meant to be very intimidating. They wanted to make us scared. They tried really, really hard to make them scared. But I made it clear to them that if any one of them, if anybody touched any of us, if anyone, any of them hurt us, that there would be thousands of people around the world who would know. That's what real journalists do. They tell the truth. <clears throat> so there's something else I want to tell you about mainstream media, those people with those big, heavy cameras. There are at least three of us real journalists who were assaulted by those people with the big cameras. There was, I accidentally stepped into man's view, and he grabbed me by the shoulder and pushed me away. There was another young woman. She was pushed by CBS woman with a big camera on her shoulder. Yeah, there's tons and tons of video of that, of this young 19-year-old girl pushed by CBS. Please wrap up. We'll okay, have I have one more speak. thing that I need to cover. So a lot of people came up here and they talked about that there was some, some spray painting and, and things like that. And while I don't agree with that, I understand the outrage that, they, of that <coughs> these young people had when they, they spray painted. But I also want to clarify that there is a difference between property damage and violence. Violence is not spray paint. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Good evening, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen of the council, ladies and gentlemen of the audience. My name is Joe Mariano, I'm a Fullerton resident. I'm the, <coughs> excuse me, the site administrator of the Fullerton Informer.com. And I'm here tonight to discuss the travesty of justice that uh, was going on in the world uh, over the internet, over the airwaves, and the slant that's being put on it. About a year and a half ago, I started encountering a strange phenomenon amongst the community 
members that I'm somewhat loosely involved with. And that is a strange dichotomy of things are just going to pan out. And let's let the wheels of justice turn. And let's have faith in the system.